Hi everyone and welcome to episode 7 of the Hitchhiker's Guide to ServiceNow. Today we're going to take a trip back to the multi-row variable sets where I think I understand the question I have gotten earlier from a, a fellow community member and we're going to take a look how you can actually make a variables dependent on each other pretty much like you can have in an overflow in this case we have one row you select something in the first page that will filter the second column of this one let me just turn off that eye socket on my laptop and we're good to go so uh, of course it's Christmas soon time to to hit the Santa Claus uh, I should have wear a, a something Christmasly but at least I have my my friend Sonny with me, he will keep an eye on me, so I don't do anything stupid at all. For those who have never seen me before, or heard about me, my name is Goran Lundqvist, or if you live in Sweden, you can call me Jalan, uh, aka Witch Doctor, uh, working with pretty much everything from technical assignments to architecture, to mentoring, to teaching, to best practices, I love best practices, trying to spend a lot of time in the community, helping others, Slack channel, and so on. Being a customer, now as a consultant, been having a lot of roles over the years, and so on, but enough about me, if you want to get in touch with me, you got the contact details in the bottom left. And we have a very long, again, as you can see, hopefully this video won't be that long. But we're going to take a look how can we make dependencies and of course you can use this in normal variables on a normal catalog item or recapuser or so on as well. So let's skip the powerpoints and let's get into my instance and let me get my things correct so I can see what I'm doing. And first thing of course we need to do is create the, the variable set. So let's go in and take one of the out of the box items. Let's select, uh, let's get the, the Apple Thunderbird to Ethernet adapter. Apple, the master OS adapters. Let's go down. We don't have any variables at the moment. So let's go into. And I can't even see variable sets. What's so special about this one? Huh. Well, uh. Let's skip that one. It's Apple. I don't have time enough to, to look it through. Let's go for the standard laptop. That was really weird. Why didn't I get all this? Same view, catalog item. Hmm. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at that later on. So we have variable sets. In this case, we have four variables. Let's, uh, let's deactivate those who don't interfere with our stuff just hit try it see so it's clean and nice let's go back and what we're looking for is the variable sets we're clicking on that one and we'll hit new let's create a new one and as you if you see my earlier video i'll link to that one in the the description of this video so you can go and see the, the standard files and what you can script and so on but this is the one we are looking for and let's just give it a name show uh, dependent field and it will give us a nice internal name which is the one you're using with you when you are scripting could be good to know submit and i should have hit saved of course now I have to go back into that field. So let's uh, let's create two variables. In my case, I will make it simple for me. I will create two user fields. <laughs> two uh, kind of weird two, uh, where I can have one where I will select the manager, and then the second one will filter that user field to only show the users as have that person as a manager. And for that, I'm talking about users. Let's get that in a tab. So we have manager, as you can see, system admin is a few, Allison has a few, Fred has one, and so on. So if I select Allison in the first 
Kalium, I would only get these three as a second choice. So let's go back, create a new variable. And I can warn you that my instance is taking their Christmas holidays too early because it's really, really slow. And I think I actually, whoops, uh, messed it up somehow when playing around with other stuff. So let's hope it will survive. So let's hit the user table and where is this is user and we don't put any field to this one just gives all i'll submit this one and of course we need a name we say manager submit that one and then we get back to the bad part that you get to the last field even if that was in another tab so let's create another variable we have a reference field like that put that as 200 user and of course we're going to the same table uh, let's submit that one as well and let's get back to our variable sets not that one <laughs> that is my back wasp if this one doesn't uh, work so variables manager user let's take a look at the standard laptop try it and as you can see we have manager and user hitting the add button will let me select the user click on this one and if i in this case select the uh, allison two seconds five minutes uh, and somehow I spoke English to my kid in a Swedish person. but as you can see it's not getting filtered and of course we only want to have those three that had Allison as a manager now you know we are on video yeah that's his little head popping up so we got a, a photo bomber or whatever called um, so let's close that one and let's go back to our variable set and let's make this one happen and i'll go into the user variable because that is the one i want to filter and let's wait come on user there we go and now we will choose the advanced reference qualifiers. We can write JavaScript to simply do the filtering. Not that one, this one, and now someone popped up. A YouTube celebrity. And let's hit the JavaScript. And we want to have the field manager should be equal to and then we want current dot variables dot and the manager variable was named manager so let's put in that one and that's about it let's hit update we'll go back to the standard uh, laptop can't throw me off the, the field here let's uh, let's try it out let's hit allison and when I click now, we should get three hits. And there we go. Same thing if I hit system admin, I should get around seven or eight. Yeah, eight. So this is pretty much how you easily can build dependencies between different variables. And let me just close that one and go back to the variable set. Uh, and showing you we have the manager with manager also as the name and then we went to the user and the only thing we actually did was mm. was uh, <coughs> changing to advanced and putting JavaScript this is the field uh, this is the field on the user record should be equal to the value in this variable so that's about it Thank you for watching and if I don't make another video, have a great Christmas and New Year's and see you around.